What's up, y'all? I'm on um, BRP's channel, and he uploaded this video. Um, it's it's titled "Liberal Woman Women Humiliates Nice Guys and Admit They Deserve Leftover Women." Okay, so I listened to a little bit of it. I listened to, like the first minute. It sounds like it's going to go. It's going to go down that typical thing of with ladies. I think y'all do this on purpose because I don't. I'm not going to give you all the benefit of doubt and say that you're this dumb. I'm just going to say that you're you're doing this on purpose. Is that you use the term nice guys and pretend that it's literally just talking about if a dude gives you a candy bar, you should fucking give him a hug. That's really it. Please stop doing that. Please have an actual conversation about the topic if you're going to address it. You know for a fact that we're not talking about that. I seen a woman on Twitter a couple years ago. She brought up, she and it was like a really long thread to like reply, reply, reply to herself. And she got the, oh, it's not just, um, you can't just be nice. There has to be some attraction there. Like, you you, you know for a goddamn well. And she and she gave her examples too, because that's this lady's going to do. As if a dude simply saying, hi, how are you? I hope you do good today. It's like him by saying, well, I'm boyfriend material. Y'all know, know that's not it. You know that's not it. What the nice guy thing is, is simply saying that a guy is trying to substitute, so like, if he understands he's not that guy that immediately get, get someone's eye, get a woman's eye, or maybe he doesn't have that, that dominant personality that gets their attention, maybe he can substitute it with being that, that, that Walt Disney romantic comedy type of guy, you know, that guy. That's what the nice guy typically is, the quote-unquote understanding guy. You know the guy that y'all go get when y'all are 50? You know the guy y'all go get when y'all eight baby daddies in? You know the guy y'all go get when y'all get to a point where y'all y'all are been ran through, not just sexually, but ran through in every way possible. And it's like, damn, I need somebody who's dumb enough to sign up for this shit. You know that guy? That that guy. He's saying, I let, if I can offer being that guy, maybe I got a shot. I, maybe I got a chance to get the chick that I I, I kind of want to be with, or maybe even a lesser degree. But that's what he's talking about. Not, oh, I bought you a Snickers, suck my dick. Please stop. Have the actual conversation if you want to address it. But let's get into it. Being about being done wrong by women and crying about being taken advantage of, being such a great guy and all. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Nice guys do finish last, and they deserve every bit of it. For one, most nice guys are self-proclaimed, meaning they don't let their behavior speak for itself and allow others to determine if they're nice or not. They make that determination themselves. Okay. If you're talking about the what you see online, well, yeah, it's fucking online. It, it's, of course, people are going to be saying it. How do you? How do? How do you? I would like to ask this person if she has ever like, paid attention to if guys are being nice to her in an attempt to catch her attention, because y'all know, but y'all really don't even notice. One thing that I've noticed over the past few years of watching this stuff online is y'all don't notice the guys y'all aren't attracted to. So I guarantee there's quite a bit of dudes who are being nice to her probably right now. And she's just like, oh, whatever. I don't even know this guy. That's my friend. I was just, we grew up there. I'm pretty sure that that's the case with 98% of you. And that word deserve, listen... I'm someone I have to agree because I don't think anybody deserves like another human unless they had a contract. All right. Spend a lot of time trying to convince other people that they're nice. Two, these nice guys are nice because they want something in return. Again, she's talking about simply doing nice things when that's just. Not only the case, maybe she, maybe I guess one thing that y'all could be talking about is like, I don't know, checking in on you, like buying you a gift or something, buying you blah, 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 whatever the fuck. It's really irrelevant because, yeah, people want things in return. Yes, that, that is how that works. But do, don't y'all do typical, don't y'all do shit. 
in in, in desires of a, a return on that. When y'all do shit for a guy, y'all say all day, all, all day. All say, oh, I have sex because I want to. I have sex because I want to. I have to do this because I want to. But then if that same guy can't fucking help you, you end up stranded somewhere and nobody will help you, including the guy you're fucking or guys you're fucking. Y'all immediately go to, huh, y'all grimy as fuck. Y'all won't even help us. If a, if a dude can't help you do this, why are you fucking him, right? Right? Y'all do the same shit. That's, this point is irrelevant. Because it's the right thing to do or because it's in their... And what is the right thing to do? I did a video a while back about um, a chick who went on a rant about having to change her own tire. Y'all do y'all y'all expect just just expect that type of shit. No, 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 no. What the fuck do you ever just do for somebody? Ladies, let me ask y'all this question. Let me ask y'all this question. How y'all y'all see how y'all expect? us to just have y'all around or help y'all do whatever just because it's the nice thing to do i need y'all to do something look around y'all circle of male friends associates whatever how many of those men are in your life and serve no purpose how many of those men are in your life and serve no purpose zero zero fucking zero y'all don't do this but y'all keep acting as if we're just supposed to do it you're not going to do things for me and you don't know me why 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 do i have to give you something in return why because we fucking want it character so you really want to see a nice guy in his true colors watch him over time after him not getting his way just watch he gets big I've watched women do this shit. And there was a woman who I was working with. She was always in my face. Always. But I was on a track tour. I was on a track tour, so I wasn't really reciprocating that. It was, she was always in my face saying, we should do this, we should do that. And invited me to a crib one time. The whole thing. She even at, at the next day, I think she told me over the phone or something like, she's interested in me, something, something, the whole, all that shit. As soon as it became obvious that I, I'm good, I'm not good, I'm good on it. Immediately, her her attitude was like, "Nigga, why do you exist? I can't, I can't do anything. Why, why the fuck do you exist? No more high. Never mind getting me shit anymore. No more high. No more sitting near me during lunchtime if we so happen to have lunch together, which never happened after that, by the way." No more, no more be her, Mr. Nice Her, Mrs. Nice Her. None of that. This has happened at, at more than once. Stop it. This is not something that only that's, uh, only dudes do. Please stop doing that. Because his fake niceness isn't getting him what he wants, he becomes resentful towards women who aren't interested in him, even after how nice he's been to her. What she's describing ever so elegantly about and leaving things out, she's describing a situation where there was a, a kind of back and forth. She's describing a, a situation in which I'm pretty sure the woman was kind of taking that niceness in and acting as if she's oblivious to the fact that why he's doing this stuff. And then then going him going, but what the fuck? Why would you entertain me this long? Why are you dragging this shit on? That's what she's talking about. So yeah, I, he he's a he's a real asshole for that one. Internalizes the fact that he isn't getting his reward for being on his best behavior, and so he starts to blame women for the fact that he's lame. Three nice guys are entitled because they do things that basic people do and expect to be rewarded for being nice. Says the person who comes from a group of people. Who literally get things in life because they exist. Says the person coming from the group of people who, in the, I'm not sure if she's from America or not, but in America, we have so many fucking safety nets that are just for puss, bad pussy management. I don't want to hear this shit. I don't want to hear this shit. Those nice guys 
who get all this shit talk to them, they pay taxes that go to places like parent, Planned Parenthood. What is Planned Parenthood? Planned Parenthood is a place, according to a chick on Instagram, is there to offer uh, 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 ser- health services to at little to no cost for women. So those nice guys, they gotta do. They gotta be nice one way or another, right? They don't have a. They don't have a. I've said this on BRP's channel. They have a reason to be fucking angry. Cause people, society is holding them down, saying, "Nigga, you gonna you gonna pay this one way or another. You gonna fucking do it. You gonna give a fuck. We gonna make sure they getting theirs. We don't give a fuck if we get yours. They got a reason to resent you. They have a fucking reason." Oh, sex, I'm not a thug. By default, I'm a nice guy. You know, like on some basic normal people stuff. Oh, because I didn't steal out of that store, you should thank me. See. See where we are? Because I didn't steal out of the fucking store. See how low they're getting with the examples? For not being a thief. I open doors for women. I never call them out of their names. I deserve a relationship and sex. I have... Open doors and don't call women out of their names. Here's the thing. Don't y'all beg for this shit online all the time? In between videos like this, don't y'all like beg for this shit all the time? We're the gentlemen that do this. Where's chivalry? Where's this? But men are so violent. That's why I have to be a bitch. Because if I'm nice, then they might beat my ass and get the wrong message or something. Don't y'all beg for this shit all the time? Oh, but when a guy actually offers it and it's like, well, damn, I thought y'all wanted this. You do this. All right. I own a job, I own a home, I've never been in jail, I've never been in drugs. Please award me the Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, pussy and the Nobel Peace Prize are not the equivalent. The, the Nobel Peace Prize, ironically, is worth way more. But the, the, the shit she described, that do you do realize that that is, with that, that, that's, that's, that's somebody, that's an average person who shows that they're competent. At very minimal. What y'all don't realize is that's kind of y'all. That's most of y'all ain't. A guy who takes care of his responsibilities. That's most of your lane. I just told y'all that y'all deserve way more. Oh, I can get my own house and car and have my own job. Okay. That's that's still your lane. That's still your lane. All y'all who call fucking Kevin's show, well, I'm this and this and this. Nigga, this is y'all lane. What the f- A dude got dragged on Twitter a few years, a couple years ago about the same shit. He, post, he posted that. I have my own this, my own that. Working guy, blah, blah, blah. And people, oh, y'all want reward. Y'all want to be rewarded for the most basic shit. Coming from the people who brag about doing less than any generation prior to them. Y'all make threads regularly about not cooking. Y'all make th- threads regularly about not putting any investment in who you can be in a relationship to a man. And then y'all complain about this? Bitch, please. Fries. Like, do, 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 do. Give, give me a break. Give us all breaks. Four. These guys think that being a nice guy means is that you're agreeable you like to appeal to the sensibilities of people and you don't like to rock the boat all to be seen in a certain light of nice well the description she just gave prior to this sentence is it's it's not I, I would at this very at this moment say it's not a, a plus or a negative positive or a negative um but i will say to the whole not rock the boat or was she appealed? Like, it sounds like, again, like he's trying to say, listen, I'm trying to be more for you in hopes that, and you can say whatever you want about this type of guy, right? But, but, but he's, again, what dudes like this trying to simply trying to say is, I'm willing to be like the one in the back if it means I land you, right? 
Now, if y'all want to say that's not appealing, okay, fine. Pick otherwise and live with your consequences and don't be on these panels asking for people who could have, you could have been with and had the services to protect you and do this and all this shit and tell men to take care of their kids and all all that shit that y'all do. Don't do it. Y'all don't want these dudes that offer this? Fine, don't take them. But don't then ask them to fix your baby daddy later. Stop. You're nice, but you don't have integrity. Like, you ain't even honest with yourself, sir. You being nice does not... Integrity? This is the group of people who fight... What is it? Nail and tooth or some shit like... Whatever that saying is. For the ability to kill their babies. The same people who before they had that opportunity was dropping them off in fucking dumpsters. Don't talk to me about integrity. Stop. Please stop. Mean that you don't have ulterior motives or an agenda. And most importantly, you being nice doesn't mean that you respect me as a woman. Five. Nice guys feel that their niceness is a substitute for all the other important qualities that they're missing that the average woman is attracted to. Coming from the group of people who modern day will tell you this pussy makes up for all the other shit that I simply won't do. Don't cook. Don't clean. Let me tell you how I got this ring. Oh, you nice? How does your niceness make up for your lack of self-respect, letting people just walk all over you, or your lack of personal boundaries? How does nice make up for the lack of masculine energy that you're giving off? How does nice make up for your personal insecurities? How does nice make up for your lack of overall attractiveness? Like some of you guys will legit walk around with hygiene issues and, and, and be like, I'm nice. We're literally down to the dude who not only is a nice guy, but he is he he's the the dude that stinks. We're we're, we're talking about him now, ladies. Will y'all get it? It when we reach this point of this conversation, we know for a fact now that you're not even trying to have a conversation because you're talking about literally the dude that stinks, the dude who's so unself not self aware, who's apparently not been raised at like he stinks. Regularly, like not after a hooping session, not after working in the sun. No, he just stinks. He he goes to sleep, wakes up like eight days straight. No shower. Same draws. Stinks. Nick. And while she's talking about what all stuff makes up for this and with the y'all degree don't make up for y'all lack of uh, relationship uh, abilities. Y'all vagina doesn't make up for shit. What the fuck do y'all, y'all try to make up for everything. I don't you like me. How does nice make up for you being needy, weak-minded, predictable, and boring? Check, like, check, like, seriously, listen, check this out, sir. It's not that women don't like you because you're nice. We don't like you because you're entitled. Di Says the person... Again, who all they have to do is ask the government for shit and they get it. Don't ever bring up the word entitled. You are fucking entitled. And if, even if you're successful, that doesn't mean you're not entitled. Because the most, who, those of you who don't end up successful, which is most people, you end up just going, and, hey, I want this. You end up calling shows. Where's my man? Where the fuck is he? I make six figures. What the fuck is the dude that makes six figures? Just please don't ever read up the word entitled. You stop. Do eliminate entitled from your vocabulary unless you're labeling yourself. Dishonest, socially self-serving, passive aggressive, manipulator who throws tantrums and blames others when you don't get your way. <laughs> Boo hoo! I'm so nice, but big booty Instagram models still won't have sex with me. Again, we're talking about a dude that stinks, that wants Instagram models. Unless she's just 
deliberately being all over the place to make an example. And when you are all over the place and no real and you give no real example or explanation, you're full of shit and you know it. Quality women don't like nice men. We like kind men. Strong, respectful, assertive, confident, convicted, principled, courageous men who take respect. Principled? Explain how y'all get locked up by dudes that, that regularly go to jail. Explain how y'all are always out here talking about loving the, the, the thugs. Explain how y'all end up with these ain't shit baby daddies that y'all talk so much shit about. Explain why y'all even need family court if you like that kind of guy. What the fuck? Principled. We need, we, but we also need these safety nets. Because we just might get knocked up by dudes that ain't principled. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We need that. We need that. Because we fuck dudes with principled. Responsibility for their own shortcomings instead of blaming the opposite sex for their inadequacy. Do they blame you for their inadequacies or do they desire you to look at them for something else that they offer? Because that's what you started off saying. Remember, it's not a it's not it's not a replacement for this. It's not a replacement for that. It's not a replacement for that. So they all are, are they offering you something different or are they simply blaming you because they have to? Or are you saying that they do both? Again, it sounds like she's all over the place purposely to straw man or straw man these these groups of men. Whining and crying and begging. Begging. Again, talking about people, a group of people who collectively say any woman, any woman who says that men are beggars or nice guys are beggars, go ask them if they want to remove the quotas that are set by government that give a lot of women jobs. Not all. You don't fit that group. Not all. But the quotas that give a lot of, and yes, they give other minorities like blacks jobs too. And I'm against that as well for all of you. Those of you who want to respond with some bullshit idea. But any woman who says that these nice guys are beggars, go ask them if they want to remove that from the, from the system. And see if, they, see if they agree with that. The same people who say the government ought to force companies to pay them a higher wage. Let's be real. That if they want to say that we're beggars... Let's let's hear it. Step the game up. Step the game up. Because the fact that you're finishing last is your fault, not ours. <sighs> where the, where do women who have these smart ass attitudes finish? Where do women who act women who act like this? Where do they finish? Cause we never, we don't have a saying for that. Where do hoes finish? What do women who either really desperately feel like they're going to need or who've already had abortion or more, where do they finish? The ones of you who prioritize being a boss instead of being, uh, and, and having a spouse, we won't say the, the W word, but who just want, who, who don't prioritize having a spouse, where do they finish? Let me know.